Hey everyone, it's Vian. Uh, I want to share a couple things that I did today um, and yesterday with you guys. I have been working like a mad woman because um, I've got requests for um, the shop that I... Well, maybe you guys don't know about it yet, but um, I found a shop. It's actually an old shop that used to take my handmade soaps and um, the new gal that took over um, is selling like, you know, um, handcrafted stuff as well um, and so she really really likes my stuff which makes me really happy but um, she let's see I put like one album there um, a cigar box and like a couple other things and they sold like within the next day and so she's like hurry up get me some more so here I am um, just working away you guys have seen like the last album that I made and uh, now I have this picture frame and two uh, cigar box that I wanted to show you. So um, this one, I was just playing around and I was painting actually um, these teapots and teacups that I cut out with my Cameo and um, it's just cut out of chipboard, no not chipboard, um, what is this, uh, manila folders. And so I decided to paint them. and. When I was just sitting, I was like, why not just paint, you know, on the frame that I was working on? Because um, I was going to use this on the frame, but I was like, no, I'll just do this. And I just kind of kept the um, pieces on the frame. Sorry, it's so shaky. I'm recording with my phone. Um, put it on the frame and then um, just, you know, use a sponge brush and then just dab all around it. So it came out with this look and I really like it and uh, I put this flower that I made here and it just has this little dangle thing I thought it was really cute and uh, just a little bouquet over there I didn't Mod Podge um, well actually I, under, underneath it I adhere the paper with Mod Podge but I didn't um, add a layer of Mod Podge over it because I didn't want the shiny look but yeah so that's the frame and it was just a, a Michaels frame so um, yeah, now you see my recording station. <laughs> okay, so next is a, that, that frame I just did today, but this is an altar um, cigar box that I did yesterday, and I didn't get a chance to record it, but let me get close. Sorry, you guys, I know it's shaky. Um, so that's the whole box right there, and then this is the side view. I did some lace on there, and then I did a rosette trim on the top layer. Um, which I really like the look of and then I just added a bunch of flowers on here um, this is a tool flower that Saw Crafter was doing I think um, yeah so I really liked it so I put it right there and then I put some of this um, sprays up here some flowers that I did and um, oh and then I did some clay this is out of clay and I just painted it this angel's wings and um, let's see I've got some skeleton leaves back here oh <laughs> this is my first time trying the um, modeling paste but I did not use the paste I um, followed Miranda's um, videos and she uses stucco patch and it was my first time working with it. It's really weird. I'm not sure if I did too much or if my um, stencil wasn't good enough for that type of material. I don't know. I, I need to like look into it and try to play with it some more. But um, I have some skeleton leaves here, some music doilies back here hiding. And then this is a really gorgeous applique um, that I have in my stash. So uh, I stuck it there, and then I also stuck some applique underneath here and just did the tour um, paper out. I wanted to try the, the piercing and then lacing this up, but um, I was just too tired last night when I was working on it. And I think this looks okay already, so I didn't want to do anything else to it. Uh, I've got some windows right here, and um, some, some swirls, some pearl swirls, can't think right now. And I think that's about it. So, uh, yeah, that's the box that I did yesterday. And then this is, oops, 
This is the box that I did today. And um, I love this flower. It's not, it's not as red as it looks on camera. It's coming off like a little bit more red on camera. But this box, I didn't cover um, the bottom side because this is kind of fluffy already. And so I just left it as that. And um, so sorry, so shaky. And so this is a, uh, a fabric flower, actually. I used, um, what's that shiny material called? Oh my gosh, it's like, it's slipping out of my head. Um, satin. And then I used, um, I sprayed it. And then I used fabric uh, stiffener. And then I added some tool on the inside. And a little bling right there. And then these are, I, you guys probably recognize them. Um, they're just chipboard pieces. And I painted them with like a cream color. And then I added um, rub and buff. So that got that gold color. And then this one I just cut out of um, a piece of paper and uh, I glossy accent it. This one is supposed to be crackle accent but it didn't work very well. I guess I hated it too much but it still looks okay so I left it. And then these are some the flowers that was on the design and so I just left it there and it kind of matches with this paper as well. And um, another rolled rose here. Some Prima like inspired flower that didn't turn out very well but I think it fits there okay. And then I ran some pearl trims um, around here. And down here I have a little charm hanging. Um, and a little rosette right there. On um, on top of a doily. And then the paper, I Mod Podge it down. And then I also added another layer of Mod Podge over it to give it that shine. Um, which is fine with this project, I think. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. Hope you guys like it and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!